Dear students, warm greetings to all of you. I hope you all are doing well. You all are welcome for your English literature class. Dear students, I request you to please open your NCRT book, Honey Suckle. Today we are going to begin with a very, very interesting poem of your literature section. That is poem seven, Vocation. Dear students, this poem is composed by the renowned poet and literate and philosopher Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore was born on 7th of May 1861 and he died on 7th of August 1941. He had shown most popular works during his lifetime and he was a Nobel Prize winner also in the field of literature. He was the first Nobel Laureate of India. He was a Bengali polymath who reshaped Bengali literature and music as well as Indian art. He was first non-European to win the Nobel Prize in literature in the year 1913. And his profile was that he was a composer with 2,230 songs to his credit. His songs are also known as Rabindra Sangi. He is the only person in history to author national anthems of two nations, India and Bangladesh. The lyrics and music for the original song of Sri Lanka's national anthem were also the work of Tagore only. Tagore once said that the highest education is that which does not merely give us information, but makes our life in harmony with the whole existence. Now let's do the word meaning of poem, vocation. First, gong, part of speech is noun. And its meaning is a metal disc with a turned rim, giving a resonant note when struck. The bell rang with gong sound at 8 a.m. Hawker, part of speech is noun, meaning a person who travels about selling goods, typically advertising them by shouting. Sentence, a hawker has to roam in streets to earn money. Lane. Again, it's a noun. A narrow road, especially in a rural area. Sentence. I moved in a lane quietly. 4. Chasing. Part of speech is verb. Meaning, pursue in order to catch or catch up with. Sentence. The dog was chasing a cat to fight with it. So let us come to the poem, Vocation, and know what is the main theme of this poem. Dear students, in the poem, a child has the desire of a young boy for freedom. The young boy sees different people doing work which they enjoy doing and he wishes he could have the same freedom in a life. Now, who is the speaker of the poem vocation? A little kid is the speaker of the poem. He is a school going boy. During his way to and from school, he met a hawker, a gardener and a watchman. Now, let us know about the figure of speech of the poem vocation. Various figures of speech used in Rabindranath Tagore's poem vocation. Those are Repetition. Repetition is a figure of speech that repeats similar words or expressions a couple of times to make a thought clearer and increasingly important. For example, bangles, crystal bangles. It's being repeated two to three times. Now let us know about the summary of the poem. The poem describes a child's longing. Longing is a desire or the craving for the freedom he sees in the lives of those around him. When the gong sounds 10 in the morning, he walks to his school and sees the hawker crying, bangles, crystal bangles. And he wishes he could be a hawker. 
At four in the afternoon, while coming back from the school, he sees the gardener digging the ground and he wishes he were a gardener. When the dusk falls, his mother sends him to bed and he sees the watchman through the window and he wishes he could be a watchman. <clears throat> the poem vocation is written and composed by the renowned poet Rabindranath Tagore in his poem, a child compares his life to that of a hawker, a watchman, and a gardener. And the child longs to live like them, considering them as free or independent because he does not realize the hardships faced by them. And he is not aware of the hardships which are being faced by those people. On the way to school or market, you see many people. So you have to notice and observe what each one is doing. And you have to think about their life and what kind of problems, hardships, or challenges they face during that phase. The morning comes and the boy goes to school. He meets a bangle seller crying bangles, crystal bangles. The child likes his free way of flying and he can follow any road. He can go to any place. So the child, so the child feels that the child feels that he also can rejoice this kind of movement and freedom wholeheartedly. When at four in the afternoon I come back from the school, I can see through the gate of that house the gardener digging the ground. He does what he likes with his spade, he soils his clothes with dust. Nobody takes him to task if he gets baked in the sun or get wet. Here the meaning of baked is that he gets all, you know, drenched with the hot sunlight. I wish I were a gardener digging away at the garden with nobody to stop me from digging. Just as it gets dark in the evening and my mother sends me to bed, I can see through And the mother goes to bed. I can see through the open window the watchman walking up and down. The lane is dark and lonely, and the street lamp stands like a giant with one red eye in its head. When it's 4 p.m., the child comes back from school. He sees a gardener. The gardener is digging the ground again, and he's also a free man. He can soil his clothes, he can soil his clothes with dust. So the ch child wishes to be a gardener. Night comes, the child's mother sends him to bed. The watchman again swings his lantern and walks with his shadow at his sight and never once goes to bed in his life. I wish I were a watchman walking the street all night chasing the shadows with my lantern. So this is a beautiful composition by the famous poet and literate Rabindranath Tagore. Now let us do a little bit of exercises with the poem. You have to, you know, discuss with your partner and you may now be able to answer these questions. Who is the speaker of the poem? Who are the people the speaker meets? What are they doing? The poet himself is a speaker in the poem. The poet meets a street hawker. He is selling bangles. Then he meets a gardener. He is digging the ground. What wishes does the child in the poem make? Why does the child want to be a hawker, a gardener, or a watchman? Pick out the lines in each stanza which tells us this. So the answer is the child wishes to be a hawker, a gardener, or a watchman because all these are free to do whatever they like. One more question is given to you. From the way the child envies the hawker, the gardener and the watchman, we can guess that there are many things the child has to do or must not do. Make a list of the do's and don'ts that the child doesn't like. The first line is already done for you. The child must come home at fixed time. The child must not get his clothes dirty in the dust. I can uh, speak two lines for you. 
the child must obey his parents or teachers or elders the child must not be lazy at work or must not get up late in the morning and rest of the questions or the sentences you may frame on your own the next exercise is like this child in the poem you perhaps have your own wishes for yourself talk to your friend and discuss using i wish i were for example i wish i were the president of this country or i wish i were given a chance to go to moon or i wish i were the princess in a palace and so on find out the different kinds of work done by the people in your neighborhood make different cards for different kinds of work you can make the card colorful with pictures of the persons doing the work you can do this small activity in the form of flashcards so dear students with this i think the poem vocation is understood by you all i hope you have enjoyed listening and watching to this video so do revise and learn the important meanings in question answers thank you so much